Thank you for joining us once again this week. We are Abundant Grace Church. I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our church and outreach ministry, you may email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message title today is Taking a Sabbatical. I'll be reading from the Gospel of Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. As his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. My beloved, when someone takes a sabbatical, it's because they need time to rest and recharge their batteries. God took a sabbatical. In Genesis chapter 2 and verse 2, it reads, On the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day. Now, my beloved, the Bible says that God neither slumbers nor sleeps. You can read that in the book of Psalms, chapter 121, and verse 4. So if he took a day off in the week, you need one too. Not long ago, most families went to church on Sunday morning, came home, and ate lunch together, and spent the afternoon resting and enjoying one another. Now we huff and puff seven days a week, hurtling down the road toward burnout and even an early death. Scientists say that our bodies are genetically wired to require one day out of every seven for physical, emotional, and spiritual restoration in order to perform at our highest potential. My beloved, we all need time off. I take time off. I try to get things done ahead, but if I don't, I still take time off. And you need to do the same thing. My beloved, as Christians, we should never waver from the Word of God. We should all take time off, spend time with our families, forget about our job at least one day a week and rest. It will help in the long run. We need spiritual rest. We need physical rest and we need mental rest. You see, my beloved, God knows that the fastest way to burn out is to try and burn a candle at both ends. That's why the Bible says in Exodus chapter 20 and verse 10, the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. So my beloved, think about that scripture for a moment and remember every week you need a one day day sabbatical. So please take it for your own good, for the good of your family, and also for the good of your job, because you cannot continue to function going and blowing seven days a week. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, thank you for your message today. Teach us to rest and rest in you and your word. Teach us to seek you, to worship you, to praise you, to spend time with our family, relatives, loved ones, good friends. Teach us to enjoy life. Teach us to rest our mind, our body, and our spirit, and to concentrate more on you, your word, and prayer. Thank you today, and we pray in one accord, in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. Remember, my beloved, take a sabbatical. Have a great and blessed week, and enjoy the new year.